Another way we work with sound is some other tools, one of which is tuning forks. You see I have a little crystal here. Here's a small tuning fork. This is a higher pitched one. Listen to the sound of this. I like to think of it as almost angel singing. Interesting the shape of the tuning fork. If you point this at yourself, it'll feel different if you point the fork end versus if you point the other end at yourself. And that's because the sound wave travels differently. Whatever you're doing with sound, you always have to be aware of not hitting things too hard, not making it too big, but just enough that it feels right to you. And watch your body as you make a sound. Does it make you feel better, more calm, more peaceful? Or does it somehow feel jarring? Because different sounds react differently with different people. So pay attention to what your body tells you when you're working with sound. There's that high sound again. And here's a pair of tuning forks that are just something to listen to. And if you were in my office getting a session, for example, having a sound bath to help entrain you to deeper calm so the deeper healing could begin, I might use the tuning forks this way. It will be hard for you to hear them possibly on the video, but what I've got here is the sound of C and G. And I might just put them near your ears, maybe three to five inches away, and then cross them over. That's one of the techniques. My teacher, Jonathan Goldman, liked to say he was enjoying forking himself. <laughs> so, but what he would do is be easily entrained to a deeper state of calm. And it works very, very quickly because sound is extremely powerful. But honestly, the best thing you can do with sound is use your own voice. It's free. You have it with you all the time. And we have a bit of a crazy idea that maybe we shouldn't make a sound or we don't understand that or that's weird to just make a sound and hold an intention in my mind. But honestly, just if you want to try it, consider everything an experiment. If what you're looking for is how does the sound healing work and how does it feel, the best thing you can do is try it for yourself. Make a sound, usually I just grab a vowel sound and I have my intention. It might be an intention to help someone else. It could be an intention to let go of stress or pain or, or bring in the energy that you do want. Right now I'd love to be more radiant, so then I might hum a tone or sing a song or just tone with my voice until I start to feel that way. It's partly your imagination and visualization and it's the sound that amplifies your intention. So I hope you enjoyed this little introduction to sound healing and I would love to connect with you and if you'd like to do that there's lots of ways that you can. You can find my website at www.energyexpress.com. Just click on the sound healing tab to find out more about that and there's an events calendar there as well that has retreats and sound healing circles and lots of fun things and we have a meetup group too so we'd love to have you join us. This is Kay Grace, and thank you for being with me.